so <laughs> I love oil pulling. It's something that I I learned about years ago, but the way the person described it to me, I was just like, I'll pass. Um, <laughs> so then it got reintroduced to me, I want to say about two, three years ago. And I really, at that point, I didn't really understood the benefits for this because I'm an adult and I'd be having teeth problems and this helps definitely helps like if you're not a big fan of a dentist try this try this and this is not going to like heal your mouth or anything i'm not putting that disclaimer out there but it definitely helps with keeping your mouth's upkeep it helps with keeping your mouth clean and efficient and working properly and it naturally shines your teeth because of that charcoal in it so this is brilliant black oil pooling with activated charcoal um from the band brand tara and co I, I have so many of their products. I like this brand. I really, really do. Okay, so I really don't know how to pronounce that word. It's Ayurvedic? Ayurvedic. I should have Googled what that meant. But anyways, it's vegan and it's a mint flavor. So it's nice. Aberdervidic. I don't know what the hell to say what Aberdervidic means. <laughs> I'm probably even pronouncing it correctly. Okay, well, basically, it's so what you do, and I'm going to show you guys the texture and what it looks like and everything. So it reduces dryness, it whitens teeth, supports oral, eh, oral health and hygiene, and it freshens your breath. So basically, this is literally just coconut oil with the bits of activated charcoal in it. So yes, the coconut oil that you put on your body, the coconut oil, oil that you use to cook with, you can also use it to keep the upkeep of your mouth. <laughs> So I'm going to, oh, so directions, pour one teaspoon of oil into the mouth, swish around for five to 10 minutes, first thing in the a.m. morning, spit it out in the, spit out the oil in the trash can. Do not swallow. When finished, brush your teeth as normal. So basically you use this as a mouthwash. Well, it, it, basically the same way you would use mouthwash, you would use this. So you would pour like a whatever capful or however, whatever amount that you want. Some people use a teaspoon, some people use three teaspoons. It depends on your pro level swishing, pro level, I don't know. <laughs> so what you do is you put it in your mouth and, and so because typical mouthwash, um, I believe you just swish it around for like a couple of seconds or a minute or something and then spit it out. This you're gonna do for like, it says five to 10, but if you really want some good results and you get into the habit of doing it, do it to 15 to 20 minutes. The moment you wake up, early in the morning, that way you ain't, you ain't gonna talk to nobody. Like right when you wake up, when you go look at yourself in the mirror, and we know we all do that in the morning. <laughs> when we look at yourself, grab that, grab this, put it in your mouth and switch it out and then start your morning. Like turn on your shower. You can like switch around when you're like taking a shower. You can, um, Go into your room and pick out your clothing for the day. Turn on some music. Start your coffee. Definitely do oil pulling before you have anything to eat, okay? It, not, it's not going to affect your stomach in any way, but it's just the fact that because you're doing this movement with your mouth, you can slightly, if you are new to it, you can slightly cause your um, gag reflex to happen. And if you have something in your stomach, you don't want nothing coming up. And then also, if you just ate, you would have bits of food in your mouth still that you would have to like get with a toothbrush. And when you do oil pulling, you're kind of just going to have that food just floating or eating. You don't want that. That's nasty. That's nasty. So definitely do this before you eat or drink any water. You get the water's fine. But like tea or coffee, do this before your tea and your coffee. Okay. So this, I'm going to show you what it looks like. Um, oh, they have this little cap here. One second. Yeah. I really like oil pulling. Look at my teeth. They nice, right? They're, I really do feel like it because I've been doing this long enough. Um, I've been doing this for consistently a month. No, no, no. A month. Consistently. They're not bad, right? The, the color, don't worry. I need braces, I know. But like, the color, kind of, they kind of, they're kind of white. A little bit, right? Yeah. Oh, ah, shit. Okay, so I'm gonna pour it. Ah, you guys see, it's kind of black. So that's what it looks like. I'm gonna show you a short demonstration. Oh. 
and spit it out in the trash can. Because this is still an oil, if you spit it in your sink, you can definitely start clogging some pipes if you do it consistently enough. So don't want that, okay? Um, yeah, spit it in the trash once you're done, and then you can start, but you can brush your teeth, you can floss, which is my next item up that I'm gonna show you guys. Um, but after, yeah, when you do that, and then you can go about your day. So try to be consistent with that. If you guys do decide to try it out, oil pulling is very healthy for your mouth. Coconut oil, if you just got some coconut oil in your house, take like a small teaspoon, start small, because when I first did, I tried to do a chunk, and I was like, you, you don't want that. Start small, and then work your way up when you become more used to like swishing in your mouth. Okay, so the next item is also ah, Tara and Co. I told you, I really 